Getting ready to play magic tonight. All right, here's the case. And I gotta figure out what decks I wanna bring. Let's see what we got in here already. Progentus, Viseral, Garth Y, Leib, Macallacy Unhallowed. Hmm. Let's see what we gotta bring. So I have some possibles for tonight. I'm thinking Alexander Clamilton, maybe. We'll have some goofy fun. Some silver bordered unglued cards in here. We're using, everything's very wordy, including the lands. It's a completely inefficient deck. Probably won't win the game at all, ever. But it's funny, it's goofy, it's got cards like Sorry. So it's a lot of the unhinged, unglued stuff. My uh, other players at the table are fine with me playing it because they think it'll be funny. And uh, I don't think I've played it with this play group before. So let's, let's maybe try that. So I think Clamilton's gonna come along for the trip tonight. I am definitely going to bring my divine top, which contains my current favorite deck, Tribal Tribal, and my custom sleeves. And I have a Tribal Tribal playmat that I've also made, so I think I should represent. So Tribal Tribal is going to come along tonight. I've only played it with this playgroup a couple times, so I haven't tortured them to death with it yet. And I have all of the tokens I need in my box of cards. I do have another new deck I built. I built around this cat, Zozu the Punisher. That's a little too shiny because he's a shiny card too. Let me pull it out of the card sleeve. See if I can reduce the glare a little bit. No help at all. So Zozu is a cool goblin. Whenever you have a land come into play, whenever a player has a land come into play, so that includes me, uh, Zozu does two damage to them. And then the deck is built around a lot of punishing mechanics. So Mana Barbs is in it. I'm running things like Wild Ricochet, Emmy Statues. Um, it's not a very, it's not a very friendly deck. Uh, Lantern of Insight, so we can see what everybody else is drawing. Fanatic Emoji. Um, so, Splinter Twin. Unexpected Windfalls. I'm running lots of weird chaosy kind of cards in this deck. That could be kind of interesting. Maybe we'll bring it along. We'll see if anybody wants to play. Uh, Zozu. Sometimes I lend my decks to my, my friends as well while we're there, so if, if I don't play it, maybe somebody else will. Uh, tonight, for sure, I'm also going to bring along <clears throat> this is a deck I have not played yet with my playgroup, and I'm pretty happy with it. Alicia who smiles at death. And this is a Kamigawa block samurai tribal. Even the lands are from the block. So the only card in this deck that is not from Kamigawa block, uh, aside from some of the ramp spells and a couple of the charms, uh, is the commander. And then I've also got a secondary deck it's also Kamigawa, and it is Spirits and Arcane. So, we'll see how these go. Maybe they get played, maybe they don't, but I'll bring them along. I should really play the, the tribal deck, the, 
Samurais. I've never actually gotten a chance to play it on paper. I have it on Magic Online. And it plays really well on there. I think I'm also going to bring the Crick deck. So if we are playing a power level higher game, um, this is my, my go-to. It's very, very, very good. It's very quick. Um, punishingly so. Uh, let's see how that one goes. I think I'm going to leave behind a couple of these decks here. I think my Vizera the Dreadful deck is going to stay home. It's kind of like a creature removal tribal is what I call it. And it's right, things like Painbringers and all of the assassins and lots of recursion cards because I want to steal people's things when I hit the bin. And I've got a mortar board in here because it's, again, this whole deck is built around the nobody can have a creature up and play mechanic and uh, I don't feel like doing that today so let's put that away I think we're also going to take out let's leave zombies in there I like playing zombies I think we're going to take out the Golgari elves maybe because we played it last week and it performed well, but I think it needs a bit of a tune. A bit of a tune up. It's it's a little clunky in some areas. So I might take another look through it and see if I can make it just a little bit faster and just a little bit better. Let's see. Believe deck. I like it. It just needs a little bit of work. So we're going to leave that one behind. We're also not bringing with us... Cody the Vociferous Codex because we played that last week and the last time we got together and it was um, a little crazy it's a little crazy and it's on a power level that's kind of all its own so I'm going to just leave that one at home <clears throat> I think my, my friends will appreciate that but I am going to bring with me A deck that I keep having to have to retool and mess with because my commander got banned. I'm happy about that. But I've replaced Golos with Garth One Eye. And we're going to see if that works with my Charbelcher deck. I haven't taken it apart. I just keep on tweaking it and updating it. And uh, I have a new a couple of new tricks in here. Uh, this turtle allows the MDFC land cards that I play as cheap lands to come to play untapped instead of tapped. So that means as long as I have the turtle out in play, that I'm not waiting to untap them. So we're gonna go with that. We are gonna go with that. I like to use these heart sleeves with the uh, commanders just when they go in my travel case because I don't want them to get damaged at all. Not that I've had one get damaged, but I don't want there to be a first. So we're gonna load Crick into the box. We're gonna load that one into the box. Oh, can't forget Clamilton. Can't forget Clamilton. I think we're gonna bring the big five color um, big spells avatar tribal deck with us as well. Yes, I think that's what we will do. Let's 
So I'm bringing zombies, my Charbelcher deck, I'm bringing my Mirror Travel deck, which is also piloted by Garth One Eye. So good, so good. Why are the mirrors so good? They just have great synergy together. So I'm excited to play that one tonight. Um, I play a really cool version of it online that I really enjoy playing. And uh, I think my friends will get a kick out of it tonight. Anyways, getting ready for magic. Excited to play. Can't wait to play in person tonight. See you later.